Well, I think it's it's um, you know, it's it's Remembrance Day is coming right up, and um, and at looking at that uh, statue there, I'm uh, and I can't help but note um, what's missing from the statue in terms of. Uh, uh, wars of the 20th century uh, in which many Canadians uh, participated um, and died uh, fighting fascism for example and yet it says on that uh, there that it's that that the uh, the great war in uh, the Second World War began in 1939 but um, thousands of Canadians volunteered in the Mackenzie Papineau uh, battalion to go to uh, Spain in 1936 and I think close to a thousand of them died there, and um, and and it uh, not on, it's not on there here because that wasn't officially sponsored by the Canadian government. That was just anti-fascist volunteers. And I don't know about here, but in in uh, in the U.S. where I'm from, uh, all the people who went off uh, to to join the 15th uh, um, Brigade of the of the um, the Spanish army um, in, in 1936, they, um, when they came back, the 50% of them who survived and came back, and I think that survival rate was about the same in Canada, the 50% who came back um, alive, um, my friend Bob Steck among them after spending 16 months in one of Franco's concentration camps, he came back and, uh, and was officially designated by the federal government of the U.S. a, a premature anti-fascist. Uh, because uh, I believe here in Canada it was it was acceptable and actually even mandatory to be against fascism from 1939. But in the U.S., uh, if you were if you were against fascism before 1941, uh, you were um, a suspect uh, of having a brain, and uh, you know, and uh, they never apologized for that. And, uh, all those uh, guys who uh, re-enlisted into the into the officially into the army and you know to go back to Europe a couple years later they they were not given security clearance you know they couldn't get uh, secret security clearance because they were uh, too suspicious for having opposed fascism before 1941. Bob died a few years ago at the age of 95, and I wrote this song. They were old when I was young. Now they've all but passed away Now it's just a second-hand memory of the day When from all around the world They sailed off to Spain To fight against the fascists Where so many men were slain Who will recall the days When they all stood side by side Now that the last Lincoln veteran died. It was called the Abraham Lincoln Brigade. Yeah. Beside Martin Luther King, or in a veteran's parade, you could see the men who made the journey to join the 15th Brigade. When men of many nations, of most every creed and hue, Catholics and Protestants, atheists and Jews, joined together in the trenches to turn back the fascist tide. Now that the last Lincoln veteran died, the working class of many nations joined in a desperate bid with what weapons they could find. They fought to save Madrid From Brussels and Berlin Galway and London town Who will recall the brigadistas Who went to take the fascists down There beside the Spanish people Even the figs and olives cried Now that the last Lincoln veteran died The Republic had the people, 
But the fascists had the tanks. But Il Duce and Der Führer deserve only some of Franco's thanks. Cause the fuel to move the armor came from the USA. And the men that they gunned down were from New York and Frisco Bay. Uncle Sam claimed he was neutral. Who will remember how he lied? Now that the last Lincoln veteran died. They say people get conservative the older that they age. They say that being radical is just a youthful phase. But the finest communist I've known lived to 95. And he spent his whole life striving for humanity to thrive. To forget these fallen heroes is something I cannot abide. Now that the last Lincoln veteran died. Now that the last Lincoln veteran died. There's a valley in Spain called Harama. It's a place that we all know so well. It was there that we gave of our manhood, where so many of our brave comrades fell. <laughs>